Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and in this video I am going to show you how to take notes on this phone. So let's start. So the app that I am going to use is Samsung Notes and here I will start taking my notes. Now for example, I want to bring some image or text from a website to my notes. I will take out this edge panel and then I will open the internet browser in split screen. Now you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image and I want this image in my notes. But I want this image without these labelings. So I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this option of clip subject from background. Once you select this option, only the image part will pop out and now you can press and hold it like this and you can easily drag and drop this image to your notes. And now from here if you want you can do all your editings, you can rotate it, you can crop it as well. The next thing is same way you can also bring any text. So I will go back from here and then I will open a website. So for example, I want this text to my notes. So again, I will use my S Pen. I will start selecting the text. So I will select this text till here. Now I want this text in my notes. Again, I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text to my notes. The next feature is about Samsung ecosystem. So whatever I copy on one Samsung device, it will also be available on my Galaxy Z Fold 6 and later I can use it for notes. For example, I will take out this edge panel and then I will scroll to the clipboard. You can see the clipboard is currently empty. Now for example, I open a website on this Samsung device and for example I like this image and I want to copy this image. So I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this option of copy image. So the same image will be copied to my Galaxy Z Fold 6 as well. So if I take out this edge panel you can see the same image is now available over here. If you want to use it for your notes you can just open your notes, take out the edge panel press and hold it like this and you can easily drag and drop this image to your notes and later if you want you can do all your editings. The next tip is about summarizing a website and bring it to your notes. For example, I open this website and now I want a summary for this website. So what I will do, I will select this browsing assist tool, then I will select summarize. So AI will generate a summary for this website. So here you can see the summary for the website. You can also go for detailed option. Just select this style tool, then select detailed and then press done. Now the AI will generate a detailed summary for the same website. So here is the detailed summary. Now you can copy it. Now if you want to use it for your notes, just open your Samsung notes, take out the edge panel and then scroll to the clipboard. So here is the summary for the same website. You can press and hold it like this and you can easily drag and drop this summary to your notes. So here is the summary for the same website. Now if you want you can highlight the text, you can also edit it and at the bottom you also have the link for the same website. The next tip is about sketch to image. For example, I will just draw this random sketch on my Samsung notes. Okay, so I will just draw this sketch. Okay, and now I can use AI. So just use this note assist tool and then select sketch to image. Now you can trace around this sketch. So I will just trace around this sketch. Okay, and now here you can see it is giving you the option to generate. From here you can select any style. For example, I select pop art and then I will select generate. Now AI will generate an image related to this sketch. You just have to wait for few seconds and then I will show you the result. So here you can see the AI will generate these type of images. If you don't like any of these images, you can go back from here. You can change the style. For example, I will select illustration and then I will select generate. So you just have to wait for a few seconds again and then it will show you another result. 
So here you can see the AI generate new images for the same sketch. Now if you want to use them, you can just select this option of add to note. So the same image is now added to your notes and later if you want, you can also do the labeling, you can do all your editing. The next tip is about handwriting help. So inside your Samsung notes, there is a new tool available. Name of this tool is handwriting help. You can enable all of these options. Now if you try to write something on your notes, it will automatically align it in straight line. So here you can see whatever I write, it will automatically align it to the straight line. So this will be really helpful for taking handwritten notes. The next tip is about adding video object to your notes. For example, you are watching a video and you find something interesting in that video and you want to bring it to your notes. So what you can do is just take out this edge panel, open the Samsung notes in split screen. Now whatever object you like, you can just pause that video Video. So for example, I like this chair, I will pause this video and now I will make it a little bit bigger like this. Now I want this chair in my notes. So I will use my S Pen, I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this chair to my notes and later if you want you can do all your editings. The next tip is about auto format handwritten notes. For example, I want to auto format these notes. I will select note assist tool, then I will select auto format, then I will select meeting notes and then from here I will select generate text layout. Now AI will generate a text layout for the same handwritten notes and it will also convert it into the headings and bullet points. So here you can see the final result. Okay, you can also go for other styles. You can just scroll it like this and then it will show you other styles as well. So whatever style you like, you can just add or you can copy. The next tip is about flex mode panel. So if I partially folded my Z Fold 6 like this, it will open the Samsung notes and then you can start taking your notes. So here you can see the notes are open. Here is the keyboard. Now you can start taking your notes. The next thing is you can also go back from here and then it will open this touchpad. And now you can also use this touchpad so here you can see this cursor. The next thing is you can also open another app on this part. So just select this split screen option and then from here you can select any app. For example, I will select this gallery app and now you can also work on both of these apps together. The next step is about circle to solve math. For example, I will write a math equation on my notes and I want to solve this equation. So I will use circle to solve math option. Now I will press and hold this home button like this and then I will circle around this equation. So I will circle around this equation and now here you can see it will show you the results and you can use this in your notes. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video you see this like button. If you press it like this it will change its color. You can try this experiment. You can also do PDF annotations in Samsung Notes. So I will open Samsung Notes and here we have this PDF plus icon. You can select this icon and then you can select your PDF file. For example, I select this PDF file and here you can see you can use all of these tools. For example, if you want to write on your PDF file, you can write. If you want to create some kind of shape, you can also do it. If you want to highlight any text, you can also do it. The next thing is you can also use this page sorter option. So here on this side, it will show you all different pages for your PDF file. For example, I want to go to page number four. I can directly go from here and then I can do all my annotations. The next thing is you can also add or delete pages to your PDF file. For example, I want to add a new page after this page. I will select these three dots and here is the option of add page. So I will select it. Here you can select the page template. For example, I select this template and here you can see after this page, a new page is available and here I can do all my work.
The next step is about smart select tool. So if you want to select only a specific part of your screen, you can use smart select tool. Just bring your S Pen closer to the screen. It will show you this air command icon. You can select this air command and then from here you can open smart select tool. Now you can use your S Pen and then circle around the specific part of the screen. So I will just circle around this part. So here you can see only this part is selected. You can also crop it. So here you can see you can easily crop it. Now here is the option of add to note. So you can select add to note and the same object will be added to your notes. You can also use Gemini to explain anything in your notes. So use your S Pen swipe from this corner. So I will swipe it like this and then here you can see we have this option of add this screen so select add this screen so the screenshot for your notes will attach to your gemini now here you can write anything so for example i will write here explain this simply Okay, and then I will send this command. Now Gemini will explain whatever I have in my notes in more simpler way. So here you can see, so here is the explanation from Gemini. Now you can also use it in your notes. You can also do voice recording of your lectures inside Samsung notes. So what you have to do, select this plus icon and then from here you can select this option of voice recording. Now you your voice recording start and in the meantime you can also take your notes once you finish with your voice recording select this stop option the next thing is you can also transcribe your voice recordings select this list option and then from here select this t icon and the ai will start generating the text for your voice recording so here you can see so this is the transcript for your voice recording you can also bring it to your notes you can also take notes on top of videos for example you have a video lecture going on and you want to take notes in the meantime so just press this s pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this it will open the samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes the next thing is you can see samsung notes are blocking the view behind so select this green color bar and then select the opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity of Samsung notes. Now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes. The next thing is you can also do the screen recording of your note taking and the video behind. So just bring down this quick panel and then from here select screen recorder and then select start recording. So after this countdown your screen recording will start. The next thing is if you mention or if you want to highlight anything important on your screen you can select this pen tool from the screen recorder. Now you can highlight anything important in your video. You can also turn on the front camera. So here is the front camera option. So if I select it, so here you can see the front camera is now turned on. You can bring it anywhere on your screen. Once you finish with your screen recording, you can select this stop option and your screen recording will save in your gallery and later you can access it and you can share it. Now let's talk about tools. So the first tool that I'm going to talk about is this shape tool. So using this tool, you can create neat shapes. So here you can see I draw this circle and this shape will convert it into this neat circle. So same way you can create any shape using this tool. The next tool is the S Pen to text tool. So here we have this S Pen to text tool. Now whatever I write, it will convert it into the text. So here you can see here is my text. The next tool is this pen tool. So inside pen tool, we have these amazing pen options available. You can also change the thickness and then you can also change the color for the pen. Then we have this highlighter tool. In the highlighter tool, we have these four different type of highlighters with different color option. You also have the option to change the opacity and you can also change the thickness. You can also change the page template. So select these three dots 
and then here is the page template option so here you can see we have different page templates option available so for example i want to use this template so i will select it like this so here i have this new template you can also use different planners option select these three dots select page template and here we have this pdf option so select this pdf and here we have different planners available so you can select any of these planners so here we have monthly planner daily planner yearly planner so you can select any of these for example i will select this planner and here you can see i have this new planner available you also have the option to change the page color select these three dots select page settings and from here you can select any of these colors for your notes you can also change the scrolling direction for your pages you can also generate covers for your samsung notes using ai for example i open my samsung notes and here i have different notes available for example i want to generate a cover for this note so i will press and hold it like this and then i will select more and here is the option of generate cover so i will select this option so ai will generate a cover for me so here is the cover i will select done so here i have this new cover for my notes you can also add tags to your notes for example i open my notes and i want to add a tag for this note so i will select these three dots and here is the tags option so i will select tags and then i will select allow and then here i can create any tag for example i will write here about assignment so i will write here assignment okay so i will give this tag the name of assignment and then i will select plus okay so new tag is added and then i will select save so now if i want to find out my notes it will be very easy for me so i have to go back from here and you can see on top we have this search icon you can select it like this and then here you can write the name of your tag and it is also showing you recent tags over here for example here is my recent tag i will select it and then it will show me the exact note you can also backup your notes with samsung cloud so you have to go back then select this list option and then from here select the settings icon so i will select the settings icon the very first option is about sync with samsung cloud so you have to enable this option and then you can sync your notes across multiple samsung devices you can also categorize your samsung notes so i will open my notes and here i will select this navigation draw and here you can see i have this option of folders so i will select this folders and then here you can see i create multiple folders so you can create folders according to your semesters and in each of these folders you can create subfolders according to your subjects for example i have this spring folder and here inside i have multiple subfolders and inside those subfolders you can create your notes you can also lock your notes and you can set a password so select these three dots and here we have this lock icon so you can select this option and then you can set a password for your notes you can export your notes in six different formats so select these three dots here is the option of save as file so select this option and here you can see you have six different options available so you can save your notes as samsung notes you can save it as pdf file microsoft word powerpoint image file or text file so guys this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much